What's going on, fam? Um, hopefully you can hear me. If not, I'll fix it later. But uh, I was just out here all alone, just enjoying the beach. As you can see, beautiful beach in Nagua. Um, I forget what exactly what it's called. But anyway, beyond the fact, I was just speaking to the Father, my Heavenly Father, and just out here alone, something that I would never... I never thought I would do, you know, before. First of all, coming to Dominican Republic by myself, and then coming to the beach by myself, doing a lot of things by myself, which to most people is not, it's not accepted, it's not acceptable in this life, you know. But I felt the Father told me to come to Dominican Republic, at least this time by myself. So there's certain things I gotta go through as a man that uh, I haven't gone through in this life, you know. It's hard to explain, but basically, I was just thinking about the Bible. And I know in the beginning it said, uh, the father told Adam, it's not good for man to be alone. And that's very true. Then I was thinking, this was all before sin happened. This was all before Adam listen to Eve and ate while Eve got deceived by the serpent by the devil Adam allowed Eve to talk him into eating the uh, eating the fruit I want to say apple because we don't have no clue what fruit it was but eating the fruit that they weren't supposed to eat from the tree of life life and death so um I say that to say basically obviously we don't live in a world like they were born into that they were created and born into a perfect world where they could trust well it seemed like they could trust people because again the serpent came and deceived them and that was in the perfect world but in the world we live in it's hard to trust anybody whether it be family friends people you don't know and uh even the bible says it never says trust in people every the bible says trust in who in, in in the father only to trust in the father and uh seek to seek him it never says trust in people because we're not supposed to put our trust our heart in people we're supposed to put our trust in our heart our heart to the father why because when people hurt us or when we go through things we understand that it's if we're living for god if we're living for the Father, these things are to happen, to, to help us grow, not to, get a, not to get us bitter, not to get us angry, not to have unforgiveness. But it, this life is just all a test from beginning to end. You know, we come in this world by ourselves, we leave by ourselves. We get judged by the Father by ourselves. We don't have people in the courtroom that can speak for us say hey but he was a good man and he meant good and blah 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 we don't have this the Bible doesn't speak of these things it says when we're judged we will be there standing alone in front of the Father and forgive me I'm just blabbing on I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this on my YouTube page but I just wanted to speak I, I was thinking of it and, I, and I, I'm trying to record things more as I speak and talk and learn through my life what the Father's doing in my life and um if you look at the, if you look throughout all the Bible, you see uh, Joseph. What happened to Joseph? His family pretty much left him to die. You know, he was alone. He was considered alone most of his life until he he met up with his family again when when the father brought him up again. You know, where he was ruling in Egypt under the Pharaoh. So again, Joseph was alone most of his life and had to learn how to depend on the father for everything. Um. Job, he had it all. He had it all to the father. To the father allowed Satan to take it all from him. Why? You know, we speak of this. We speak of this story, and we we talk about how great Job was, and how how God gave him everything back. lost his whole family his wife went against him his friends so-called friends even said what did you sin how did you sin against God you know these are his friends that's supposed to know him yet they're 
yet they're judging him like he sinned and he did something to, de to deserve all this you know this is how we act this is how we are as people and this is how I feel we don't learn from the Bible for me personally I feel we we don't take these things from the Bible and learn these things. It's just like we're learning stories. Like, okay, that was a great story, but that that has nothing to do with my life personally. Which I feel the European church has taught us wrong. You know, I think we can learn by everything in the, in the, in the Word of God. You know, there's everything to learn. But I feel that we have learned in the European church that... Um, to live for God, we, we gain everything in this world. We gain prosperity. We, we have a blessed life. We have a, everything is better once we give our lives to the Father. And, and everything in the Bible goes contrary to that. We're not supposed to have anything in this life. You know what I mean? Everything in this life, we're supposed to suffer. It says we're going to suffer, you know? It says count the cost when you follow Christ. Why? Because it's not easy. You're going to lose things. You're going to lose everything, including your life. So I go from Joseph to Job. Those are Old Testament. But look, in, look at Christ, Christ himself, his life. He was born in the manger, first of all. You know, he could have been born in the, the, nice, the nicest of the nicest hotel or wherever, nicest house at the time. But he, they chose to bring him in, in the, the lowest of the low, a manger. And even throughout his life, he didn't have nothing. He said... Even foxes have uh, a place to lay their head, but the son of the son of man has no place to lay his head. All I, so I say, you know, I'm just I'm just rambling on, and uh, I guess I'm just I'm mad. It angers me because uh, we have been lied to, we have been deceived, and uh, many people don't deceive this this deception, you know. Many people just, uh, I guess that's okay for them, you know, I guess, I guess I'm on a, I'm on a different journey and, uh, and that's okay also, and I, I'm not mad at the people, I'm not mad at the people who choose that, I'm not mad at them, I guess I'm just mad at the system, I'm mad at Satan, you know, I'm mad at, at these, at these demons, you know, that, the fallen angels that deceive, deceive the people so easily. And so, uh, again, with Christ and his disciples, they, they didn't have what this European church calls prosperity and uh, a blessed life, you know. They, they trusted God with, every, with, with everything, you know. Everything that they, they had in life, they trust God with to, to provide for them. And they didn't have the best of the best every day, you know. Um... And of course, I, I, I started out with with um, this whole conversation of trusting in man and uh, that nobody should be alone, like me being alone right now. When Christ was about to die, he, he went to pray and he took his three best men out of his 12 disciples who he thought would, stick, would, would stand by his side to pray for him. But he told them, it's about to happen, it's about to go down. They're about to come and kill me, basically. When he's done praying, he goes outside, he finds them asleep. He said, what, you can't stay, uh, uh, you can't pray not even an hour with me in, my, in, this, in this time of need? So there's a man who, who, who was with them through, through thick and thin. He never left them, never forsake them. He, he was loyal, he was loyal to them. And now in the time when he needs them, nobody's around. He's by himself at the end. So, again, and who did Christ depend on? Christ depended on the Father for everything. He didn't go crazy and say, Why had, now all my best friends left me, so I can't, there's no way I could, I could die on the, cross, on the cross. But he did fight in his flesh and say, Not my will, yet your will be done. Because he said, take, if, thy, if thy will, take this cup from me. But not, again, not my will be done, your will be done. So he was fighting in his flesh. It ain't like... He didn't struggle to have to go down a cross for people like us that don't deserve crap. You know, we as people, we're so fake, we're so shady, we're so hypocritical. You know, when somebody's not doing something for us, when, it, when somebody, when we can't gain nothing from somebody, it's like 
we just forget about people, man. We're so we're so easily swayed to go to people that that can benefit us in some kind of way, shape or form. And when they're not benefiting us, we go to the next one. You know, if they're not acting the way we think they should be acting, we go to the next person. If we're not thinking the way we they think we should be thinking, they go to the next person. It's like they, people just, including me, I have done it, and I'm. I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm not saying I haven't done these things, I'm just speaking from my, even my life, you know, thinking of the things I've done, thinking of the things that, of the people that I've, I've uh, backstabbed, you know, and it, it sucks, it sucks that I, I can, I even have to think about those things, but I did it, you know, and so, I say all that to say, I guess, um, I'm just learning in this life, all we have is God, you know, and it's not to say, crap on the uh, crap on everybody else and don't think about everybody else but it's to say if it's to say basically don't put your trust don't put all your pearls your 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 everything into people even your mother your father your family we're gonna lose everybody everybody this this is temporary we're gonna lose everybody so for me to put all my my love and my heart into my mother or my father when knowing that they're gonna die one day what's what's the purpose of that you know, we're, God didn't bring us on this earth so we could live and then once our, our, our people die, then we die. No, we all have a purpose here in life. We all have, we all were created for for a purpose. And, and that's, we're here to, to, to make that purpose happen. With Christ, when his mother and father were looking for him. When it, you know, um, the disciples said, hey, your mother and your brother is looking for you. He said, who is my brother? Who is my mother? My mother and my brother are those who do the will of the Father. So, and even when his mother came to him, he said, Woman, what, what, do you, what do you want with me? Woman, what do you want with me? Like, I could never see my, myself calling my mother woman, but yet this was okay. Why? Cause, and this, this won't go well with a lot of people, but Christ did it. So, I, yes, it will go well. He said, Woman, what do you want with me? Don't you see I'm about my father's business? So she, he, he realized she didn't understand what he was doing. His own family didn't know Christ. His own family didn't know him, who he was. This is like a revelation. It's like, just because we have family, that don't mean that they know you. They don't, that doesn't mean that they know what the Father's doing in your life. So don't be, don't be, uh, uh, how do you say, don't be so, uh, disappointed don't be so depressed don't be so down on yourself when people don't understand what the father's doing in your life trust in the father trust that even if they don't understand now whether they understand now or never understand trust that the father has not only your life in, their, in his hands but he has their life in his hands man this is the father's so good man the father's just so good because all this rejection crap all this all this crap of anger and bitterness and loneliness that's nothing but from the devil, man. That's nothing from that. Come, that doesn't come from the father, and that's not normal. That's why a lot of us, including me, I look to alcohol to feel better. You know, I look to women to to feel better, to get to get that confidence. That's bullcrap, man. We don't need none of that. But that's what we all see. We all search for other people. We search for for drugs, for alcohol, things to to get our minds off of the things instead of learning how to deal with these things, learning how to cope and and not be a coward, but to to fight these demons. To learn how to fight these demons. To seek the Father. And that's what this life is all about, man. Conquering. And living victorious. Truly living victorious for, for Christ. We don't know what that is, man. We're not taught that in the European church. And I will continue to say we're not taught that, man. We're not, we're not taught that this is a spiritual warfare, a spiritual fight. We don't wrestle against us. But yet we're going to fight this fight with flesh. Uh, just treating people any any old kind of way and talking to people any old, any old kind of way. Living in pride and flesh. Man. Anyway, y'all bless.